very good morning. I'm glad to bring to you another Hi-Fi uh, devotion this morning from Mark chapter 4 verse 35 through 41. This is the story where Jesus calls the disciples um, to cross the Sea of Galilee to the other side. Verse 35 says, On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, this is to the disciples, let us cross over to the other side. Well, point number one I want to make here is that it was Jesus who said, let's cross to the other side. When Jesus says, let's do something, you can be rest assured that you'll be able to do that no matter what happens. Verse 36, they took him along in the boat as he was. Now the disciples uh, think that they took Jesus. Sometimes we feel the same way, but we need to realize no, no, it is Jesus taking us through the journey. Let's see. But one thing for sure, uh, sometimes when God calls us to do something, we do not know the end of the story. Uh, he tells, let's go, let's do something, or he directs us something to do. But what is important is for us to be obedient. It is um, sometimes not the destination, but it is the journey that Jesus is taking us through. Verse 37, And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. My goodness, sometimes the journey we are in can look so life-threatening. There can be storms, when especially obeying the Lord, um, all the forces of darkness can try to stop us from doing that but let's not forget this leads us to the next verse verse 38 says but he was in the sterns asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said to him teacher do you not care that we are perishing let's not forget jesus is in the stern not in the boat in our hearts he is with us he is in us and let's not forget that no matter what we have to face but we might be crying out uh, don't you care that we are perishing you see jesus was so human he was tired he was taking sleep this is the only place i've uh, come across in the scripture that jesus was sleeping you know luke 6 12 says that he was praying through the night jesus often prayed through the night i wonder if Jesus had any rest at all. However, we know that he was asleep. But now that he has ascended to the Father, he neither sleeps nor slumbers. His eyes are on his children. We can be assured of that. Psalm 121 verse 4 says that. Crying out, Jesus, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? The life-threatening situations, the storms that we face in life, we can feel the same that as if we are going to perish, it will not happen. Because, see, verse 39 says, Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And he and the wind ceased and the waves uh, were calm. Sea was calm. So we have that word that Jesus will give us to speak to whatever storm that we are going through. Now, yes, it, it's a fact that we go through storms. Uh, no matter, you might be in front of the Red Sea, you might have to cross the River Jordan, you might come across the uh, wall of Jericho, no matter what you come across. Uh, he is from the stern of your heart. will give you the words that you speak. Because verse 40, But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? We ought to have that faith to speak to the circumstances. Now what happened was 41 and they feared exceedingly and said to one another who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him yes well jesus is able to do that only what god can do no matter what storm you're going through can be relational can be financial can be health situation no matter you can speak to the circumstances god bless you have a great day be blessed amen